<laughs> I love you. But now, I must destroy you. Oh, mama. Ever wondered how many calories Spider-Man burns doing a day of superhero work? Because I've been thinking about that for a while now. Yo, dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back, and today I felt like talking about my favorite superhero of all time, Peter Parker's Spider-Man. And this is sort of a continuation of a series I started last year with Baki Hanma, where I actually talked about, like, what would he burn hypothetically in, like, a day of his average life? And, yeah, today I figured, like, you know what, with all the Spider-Man stuff going on, I've just been in the Spider-Man hype mood, so let's talk about it with our boy Pete. For this, we're not going to be talking about one specific version of Spider-Man because, like, there's just too many variations from comic books, cartoons, video games, movies, etc. So what we're going to do is just talk about, like, an amalgamation of all of them just so we can get an average, ideal day for the webhead. And for Peter Parker's stats, I think I'm just going to go off the ones given in Spider-Man PS4 as that makes it easier than just going off those different comics and movie actors. And which our boy Pete is approximately 5 foot 10, is 23 years old, weighs about 167 pounds, and you know what, for body fat percentage, I'm just going to guess because he's a superhero that he's around 8%, though I don't feel like 10% would be wrong either, just because he's a superhero and like you see how shredded he is compared to his body weight. And and me being a trainer for so long, that's what I would recommend, but I'm just gonna give him 8% overall. So first things first, we gotta find his BMR, which is just basal metabolic rate, which is just how many calories he naturally burns at rest. So let's implement that data into the calculator, just like we did with Baki Hanma. So our boy is 23, male, five foot 10, and 167 pounds. So let's calculate. All right, so for him, his basal metabolic rate is about uh, 1,759 calories per day, but our boy is very active because he is a superhero, so of course we would go down to very intense exercise daily or physical job, so it would be more along the lines of 3,342. Next, we're going to talk about FFMI, which is just fat-free mass index, which is this fancy way of saying like how much active lean muscular tissue you have on your frame relative to your body fat. So for Peter, we're going to take his stats, 5'10", weight, 167 pounds, body fat percentage, again, I'm going to guess, I'm going to give him 8. And so he has an excellent fat free mass index between 22 and 23, so that is perfect and it actually seems quite manageable. When you see his physique, it actually tracks very well. Then we need to find his TDEE, which is just a fancy way of saying total daily energy expenditure, which comes from a variety of things, his basal metabolic rate, his activity level throughout the day, and certain foods you eat, because remember, there are certain foods that have like a thermic effect that can actually uh, burn amount of calories. Little stuff I've talked about many times on this channel, so be sure to subscribe, but let's put those inputs in right now. All right, so again, we put in our boy's thing, age 23, 167 pounds, five foot 10, Activity level, athlete, superhero, heavy exercise, and then, of course, 8%. Just guessing. We're just doing this for fun. There's not confirmation just because it's different overall. But, yeah, let's calculate. All right, so our boy burns about 24,000 calories, 942 per week, and then burns about 3,563 calories per day. But, again, don't worry. We're going to have a little calculation later because of his superpowers like we did with Baki. And, yeah. Well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I'm already going to get excited for it. Okay, so we got these stats down. Now let's find out what an average day for Spider-Man would look like. So I mean average day. So like the Baki thing, like with Baki, we talked about he wouldn't be fighting in maximum tournaments or like prisoners every single day of the week or something like that. Like he's had pretty mundane days. So with Spider-Man, let's just look at an average day. Like he's not going to be fighting like very dangerous supervillains like, you know, Carnage and Green Goblin and all this stuff every day. He'll probably fight some supervillains like, you know, uh, Beetle or Rhino or of course a classic Because those criminals always seem like they're up to no good. Okay, so let's say 8 a.m. He wakes up he goes to college or like goes to work at the college or something like that because in Spider-Man PS4 he was working with Doc Ock but uh you know he could be going to college too and like if he's late it, you know it's college so it's coming out of his pocket which sadly tracks for Spider-Man during the day he'll do his freelance work for the Bugle so he'll be able to take those pictures of Spider-Man and send them to J. Jonah but throughout the entire rest of the day he is web swinging he is wall crawling he is jumping jump current. He's also 
also crime fighting, but realistically, I don't think that's much of a workout for him. Like, of course, in video games, they make him seem like criminals are more dangerous than they are. But realistically, Spider-Man fighting criminals is like the equivalent of you fighting like a baby, an infant. All right, like they like if he wanted you out cold, he would like drop you with a finger. Like he can do that. And when he gets up, he eats some food. And majority of the time, Spider-Man doesn't really work out unless he's with a team training. His body did get enhanced by the spider bite, but the physique he built wasn't automatic like in the movies when he wakes up. Peter? Yeah? Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine. In the comics, his body is gradually built through his daily work as Spider-Man. Black Cat even makes a joke about how he built his dumpy from wall crawling. Yeah. And let's see, so training and sports activities, because I feel like gymnastics encompasses a lot of things. Like you learn how to flip, you do like various running because you have to like jump from different things. You do those uh, flips and like crazy people, like karate, Power Ranger stuff. You basically learn how to be a Power Ranger if you do gymnastics. Do gymnastics, kids. His body weight, let's put that in 167. And how many hours? I feel like he does this majority of the day, so... And sometimes he gets home late, but sometimes he gets home at a relatively good time, like 10 p.m. So I would say, let's say he does 10 hours, right? 10 hours, that seems fair. 10 hours of gymnastics at 167 pounds. And that would be 3,075 calories. Now, some people may say, isn't that a bit low? Like, it depends on what you mean, because like, it depends on what type of gymnastics you do, because here's the thing, you actually don't burn a lot of calories doing strength training. What strength training does is it allows you to make your engine bigger so you burn more calories at rest. But when you're doing a bunch of weight training or resistance training, you're not actually burning a lot of calories like if you were doing sprints or jogging and a bunch of other stuff. Let's say 3,075 calories he burns web swinging around doing all that jazz. Also, you gotta think like, especially if it's not organic webbing, like it's not really like like it's just like you're just swinging and going around it probably seemed like really fun and relaxing if it's like an average day not like a i have to save the world type day so you like i feel like it would just be very different things so next what is the closest to wall crawling like uh, rock climbing bouldering something like that you know just going up because most of the time he's swinging he's not really i say this is around eight eight like eight hours worth like i said 10 for this eight for this because I, he's not like consistently doing that like he swings a lot more than he wall crawls okay so that burns around 4842 calories if he was just doing it consistently like god your elbows would be in horrible pain i love rock climbing but i know if you do it too long it can really like irritate your inner elbow and really give you some golfer's elbow which is never a fun thing so make sure you're always like doing those little band resistant things and strengthen it with like wrist curls and reverse wrist curls just so you strengthen this entire area now, our boy Spidey does do some running, so I guess like running on rooftops. Though, would running count with gymnastics because of the running to leaping sort of thing? Because now I'm thinking of like, you know, when we play the game, it's just like you run, you jump, you run, you jump. So, hmm, let's see. We could put like an hour of running in there just from running to rooftop and rooftop. So one hour of running fast is about 961 calories burned. So our boy's like picking up. And now let's get on to the crime fighting stuff. Cause again, I don't think it would be that much for him because criminals are so light work. Like there's such light work. Like I guess like stopping their car occasionally would be a bit of a challenge or like, you know, chasing something like that. But most times it feels like it would just be light work. So let's imagine he's fighting someone like Rhino or you like I said earlier shocker or freaking beetle or something like that like those lower tier villains vulture or something like that Which the comics are doing BS by how long do you usually take him to like fight these guys and wrap it up these days? I probably say hour hour two hours probably I think that's fair like so we could put in the martial arts judo because he does that stuff fighting them Let's say he fights both rhino and shocker. Let's say it's about an hour because I I feel like he becomes so much more competent these days that after fighting them for so many times, he could just be like, okay, I know what to do with this. And so like, it would be a completely different ball game. So I say it would be one hour and that's about 769 calories burned. And you know what? Tracks. So right now, Spider-Man's burned over 9,000 calories. It's over. No, we're not doing that edit. All right. We're better than that. 
And so some people may be wondering like, well, what does Spider-Man eat throughout the day? And so the funny thing about Spidey is when you learn about his diet, it starts to make sense why Peter B. Parker in Spider-Verse uh, gained a bit of weight when he wasn't doing as much Spider-Man work. Spider-Man pretty much eats like a New Yorker. He eats hot dogs, he eats pizza, he eats burgers, he eats hoagies, he eats Chinese takeout. He eats like, you know, pretty much just stuff to get him going throughout the day. All right, that's what it is. He eats to fuel himself, sort of like Michael Phelps. Like that is a good way to put it. Like Michael Phelps usually ate around 10,000 to 12,000 calories per day when he was competing for the Olympics. Just like Brian Shaw would get between 15,000 to 20,000 calories when he was prepping for strongman stuff. And it makes a ton of sense. Can you imagine Pete like trying to get like Tupperware, just like I gotta get my broccoli and all this stuff. It's just like that superhero body, that superhero metabolism, all the activity. He is just burning an insane, insane amount of calories just like every hour on the hour. But then let's say Pete gets home, that's just an average day for him, and you know, he's, he's in a good place, and so he is probably going out with MJ, or sometimes Felicia Hardy, you know, Black Cat, and then like some action goes on, some buddy cardio if you catch my drift. So I feel like when he gets home, he might like take him on a date, and then you know, they get down to business when they get home, you know? He's a superhero, he just like, Every day could be his last, so he has to make sure he gets the most of it. So now the question is, how long would he typically go for? And then, you know, here's a fun fact. He actually had a, a dream in canon that Mary Jane and Felicia both hit him at the same time. So, like, that is something to... You know what? This is a hypothetical video, and this is a Jack's Blade video, and Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, and he deserves more love because they are effing him up in the comments right now. So let's say he gets that night. Let's say, for some reason, Black Cat and Mary Jane, they make his dream come true. Because I love you, Pete. I love you, Spider-Man. So he's gonna be another way tonight. I say, so he's got both of them. Let's say he's going for like, I, how long would I live? 90 minutes. 90 minutes? He is a superhuman after all. So let's say 90 minutes with Mary Jane and Black Cat. And that's about 686 calories. My man. man. All right, so now let's add up all the calories we found throughout the day. We have 3,075 from web swinging, 4,842 from wall crawling, 961 from like when he's running to rooftops, just, you know, doing various stuff, 769 calories from when he's fighting super villains, and then 686 calories for being the hero we all deserve and he needs we this. It, so in this hypothetical, this would be around 10,333 calories burned throughout the day if a person, just a regular person with these stats was doing a Spider-Man routine and their joints didn't give out from all the pain and all that stuff but you are forgetting this is spider-man his work capacity his strength his endurance all this stuff is far above the average human because he is blessed with superpowers so we have to use one more calculation which is the abmc calculation and for those of you who don't remember that is the animated bullshit magic calculation because every series has some degree of anime magic and this is out of one out of ten of how we're going to multiply these calories so let's say five, let's say five. So that will put the amount of calories Spider-Man burns on an average day-to-day -day basis without like insane stuff going on at about 51,665 calories. Though it could be lower, though it could be more, it depends on the day. And again, we're not taking this uber, uber seriously like, oh, this has to be the correct answer. No, it's just a fun little thing. And I think it makes sense when you think about all the stuff he's doing all day long, consistently like fighting people, plus his metabolism, plus his strength, plus his work capacity, plus just the endurance to do all this different stuff, plus the fun times and all this other stuff so i actually had like a lot of fun with this video doing this calculation but for people watching if you made this far in the video type in felicia cake down below and tell me who do you want to see next if i do another one of these batman superman uh goku or something like ridiculous like that if i do another one i, I just like doing these for fun like i just i love the hypotheticals also my program that is available right now on sale you can check out in the pinned comment massive sale on it just you know hope you enjoy it like again it helps out so many people i hope you you are helped by it and then for people who want to like see more of my stuff be sure to subscribe hit that bell icon like button it helps the video out tremendously like so so much like it's helped me so so much so i really appreciate all of you and i'm working on the mega spider-man video and the mega team and t movie video and all that jazz and i'm glad all of you are here to watch that but like i always say keep calm booyah on and don't forget moment i hope you have a great rest of your day and go get some buddy cardio like our boy pete <laughs>
9,000! What? 